West Metro Fire Rescue Crews trained on the ice this morning, and as we see more changes in the weather, the dramatic rise in fall in temperatures can make the ice even more dangerous across the state. Sean Chinnis joins us live tonight with more on the important warnings that firefighters have for anyone that's going near the ice. Well, Karen, this training is essential for the team here at West Metro Fire so that they can get comfortable with the gear and the conditions they need when they're dealing with the rescue that is happening on the ice. They don't have to do this often, but when they do, it's likely because someone is in serious danger. So they hope this training can also serve as a reminder to everyone about how to stay safe near the ice. Stay calm. I'm gonna, I've got another rope. I'm going to grab it real quick. It's meant to look and feel as close to a real rescue as possible. Hold on as tight as you can. Someone stuck in ice water who needs to be pulled out. Stop, stop, stop. But it's training for every West Metro fire rig. We want people to get out and practice it so if the real call comes in, they're dialed in and ready to go. Practice they need because they don't do these rescues often. And this gear takes some adjustment to get used to. But the winter weather roller coaster makes it easy for someone to find themselves in this situation. With Colorado, we get such warm days and we get cold nights. So the water can freeze and the ice can melt quickly. Here at Bear Creek Lake Park, the ice is actually pretty thick, safe enough for well prepared ice fishers to spend the day at the lake. People tend to go out there and get themselves in trouble because they go out and find a weak spot and they fall through. Most of the smaller ponds near neighborhoods won't form a thick enough layer of ice for anyone to safely walk over. So firefighters hope people won't put themselves at risk in the first place. You really can't tell until you go out there. And once you're out there, it might be too late to know. So those suits that they are wearing are really important because as soon as a firefighter comes in contact with the ice water, it has an immediate impact on their body. And most people obviously don't have access to that kind of protection. So again, West Metro Fire wants to remind everyone to just stay away from the ice altogether. Live tonight in Lakewood, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. Good advice. Thank you, Sean.